Hi everyone, Bill and Stacy here from Bonsai Keto. Today we have a wonderful package from our friends over at Omo. Yeah, they've sent us a 17 quart multi cooker. Now, if you know a little bit about the history of us, we have had a few air fryers. We had a Ninja air fryer, which actually wasn't bad. Um, the only problem I had with it was when you lifted the lid, which was attached to the unit, it wouldn't come off, it was attached. It would hit our cabinets and I couldn't, I'd have to like finagle it to try and get the lid open. It was a real pain. Yeah, we have a smaller kitchen uh, in cabinets above all of our countertops, so it really wasn't an option to keep that one. Right, it was a little bit hard to use. The second one, I actually really liked it and I was using it, gosh, a couple times a week. And the nonstick started to come off inside and you know, I could deal with that. But the problem I had with that one was it started to smell weird. And the one day I pulled the drawer out, it was all front of it was plastic, and it started to warp and melt a little. So between the nonstick coming off and the plastic warping, I think we were done with that one. Pretty much. Nice. With the Omo here, we have all stainless steel accessories. All the trays and everything are stainless steel. Yeah. And the dishwasher state. So there's none of the flaking going on with that. Right. The front door is actually features glass. There's no plastic there. So hopefully we don't have a melting issue. You can watch your food cook. And you can watch your food cook. You can even <laughs> turn the light on if you really want to look like an easy bake oven. But, so what we're gonna do is get this all out of the box, show you the accessories, and do a little bit of meal prep with some chicken. We're gonna do my barbecue spice rub. If you haven't seen that video, check it out above. As I mentioned earlier, all the accessories are stainless steel. This adjustable skewer rack will let you buy a small chicken or something, just like Costco. You can make a rotisserie chicken, stick those in and have it spin. Now, the other handy thing is they, they give you a little handle. So literally, when you reach in to get this out, you're picking it up and pulling it out with this nice little handle. Very cool. Very cool. So you also get eight stainless steel skewers, make nice. some kebabs, which I handy. like. You get two wire metal racks. Stainless steel. Stainless so no steel. None of that nonstick coming off. And then the stainless steel rotating basket. So this will be good for fries. Maybe um, poppers. Poppers. Maybe even peppers or something. Yeah. Throw some peppers in, let's spin. We're excited. Now, on the front of the unit, you've got a bunch of presets. This is what I like because I'm not real handy in the kitchen. So when you turn the unit on, I look for my little symbols like chicken. <laughs> and it automatically tells you your temperature and your time. But you're not stuck there. If you want to bring it down a little or jack up the time a little, maybe it's frozen and you want an extra five minutes, super easy to do. And you just hit start. Now, you can always open it, you can always access it. Oh, there is also a nonstick drip tray inside, which makes cleanup easy because you just pull it out and stick it in the dishwasher. Glass front. Inside's all stainless steel as well. And there you it go. It has an auto shut off feature. So when you're done cooking, it automatically shuts off. Yeah, your cycle is done and you're busy or you're on the phone or doing something. It's not gonna overcook and it's not gonna stay running and become a hazard. And it'll just shut off after that cycle. So I just actually held the button a little bit to turn this cycle off, which was what we just did. Now what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do some of my barbecue spice rub on some chicken drumsticks. We're gonna put them on the wire rack. We're gonna pop them in. We're gonna use the preset for chicken. And then we'll let you know how it comes out. One more important feature that I like, it has suction feet. So it doesn't go moving on the countertop. Doesn't slide around, that's for sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna put some of my barbecue spice rub on these chicken drumsticks and get it into the fryer. As Bill mentioned before, there are presets for french fries, steak, pork chops, fish, shrimp, chicken, baking, rotisserie, and dehydration. You said you wanted to try the dehydrator, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, maybe we'll do a little dehydration video at some point. I want to try the baking in it, too. Yeah? Yes. What are you going to bake in this thing? I'm not sure. It okay. does come with a recipe book. So I'm going to look through that, and then I also have a few other 
uh, recipe books specifically for air fryers. Air fryer. that I'm super excited. I like the pictures, and I found <laughs> one that was a broccoli cheddar fritter. We're going to put these in the oven and use that handy-dandy preset. Here's how it works. They hit the power button, look for your little symbol for Be It's Chicken, and 380, I think 20 minutes, and that's gonna be perfect for this. So we're just gonna hit start, it'll get going, and we'll be all set. It's time to play with the light. Yeah, it's kinda of like an easy bake oven. Let's look inside there. Ooh, it's cooking. Gotta watch chicken cook. Our timer just went off, and as we discussed earlier, the auto shutoff feature kicked in. So let's check our chicken, and let's get our fork, our tongs, we're gonna pull a piece out, and like I said, we're gonna check our temperature, make sure we're fully up to temperature. If not, we'll put it in for a few more minutes. Let's give it a try with our little thermometer. We're looking for a 165, or higher. And if you look at our temperature, we are at 178. So we are 179, 180. So we are fully cooked on our chicken. So let's check it out. Here, we'll get you a good close shot here so we can see it. Now I love the air fryer. It gives a nice crispness, but it also stays nice and moist too. So I'm going to put these in my meal prep containers and have them for the week and enjoy my new air fryer. Thank you, Omo. So this is almost done. What we're going to do, when we're done, we're going to check our temperature here. We want to get to 165 to be fully cooked. There we go. So we're all done. So I'll open her up. And use this to pull it out. And we're going to check some of our temperatures. Let's see where we're at. Yep, we are good. 